If you're looking to build your team, make sure you head on over to CheapMaddenCoins.com for the cheapest prices, fast delivery, and 24-hour customer support. And make sure to use Cold Wolf for 10% off. All right, man, let's talk about it. Now, I wasn't going to do a video on this defense because with my experience with the defense, it's horrible against the run. It can be stopped with play action. But I'm going to show you guys how everybody's running it. Uh, it's the defense. It's the big nickel over G pretty much in every playbook. But I'm going to show you guys a different way that you can run it. We're going to put our little spin on it. Now, I'm going to show you the base setup for this defensive play. I did not come up with this play. This is not my defense. All right. It's just a defense that everybody's using. Might as well just go over it and add our own little things to it, man, just to make it a little bit better. So what we're going to do is we're going to run cover two defense for fir for the first defense. All right. And we're just going to pretty much they need to patch the defense because if you're playing someone average and you're just, you know, someone that's just playing, you know, you're not watching a bunch of videos to learn Madden. This defense is going to torch you. But if you know what you're doing, you know how to slide protect ID the mic on opposite sides, running play action, you will be fine. So we're going to go over is this defense really quick and then I'm going to show you guys different ways that you can stop it. Uh, I can stop it out of gun bunch if people cross man me for the run. I'll just sluggo seam them down the field. Uh, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So we're just going to pick levels out which are blocked running back. So the problem people are having, I'm just going to show you guys the base setup. You're going to base the line, pinch the D line, and then slant them outside. That's the setup for the defense. Okay, that's it. It's a four man rush and the edge rushers come off. So you want to put your fastest ends on the left and right. Okay, and you come stand in the middle, hold the right trigger. Once they snap the ball, you're going to notice the animations that they get on the left side. They come free and they get free from those blocks pretty quick. Now, I did use this in the gameplay in the previous video. It didn't work as good for me. People were saying I was setting it up wrong, but I wasn't. I was baselining, pinching, and slanting outside. I was doing that in the video. Only thing maybe that I probably could have done was probably come to the line down like, like closer. And then, you know, I was holding the right trigger. And I actually waited on a few times like this just to see if I would get it. And you're always going to get that animation where they break free. Now, that is the setup everybody's talking about. But this is King Wolf right here, bro. We're going to like I said, the play is already, like if you set it up right, let me just show you guys real quick. I'm gonna try just to come to an inside zone. I don't know how, how effective it's going to be. And then with this controller, uh, this actual defense, I can't because this controller has controller drift. The defense is not good against the run. I gave up 24 points. Three uh, plays were run plays that went for a touchdown against this defense. So be careful with this defense. I would use it in obvious passing situations but what we're going to talk about today uh is the setup but then we're going to add our own little spin to it, it it's kind of like just it's cheese it's bs but use it until they patch it because i think they are going to patch it so the way we're going to set this up is since we only need our two ends right we, we only need them we can do whatever we want with the defensive line we can cheese it all day long all right we're going to make this defense even more powerful now once again if you're expecting the pass you do this now if your opponent is using a lot of play action then they know what you're doing don't use the defense because the defense is horrible it's good with the glitch but it's horrible if your opponent knows what you're doing all right so if you play use this against me and i see that you're standing in the middle trying to get that 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 i'm gonna start torching you with the run game and all that with if you're in this defense because like i said people say well we can cross man and have those guys jump the run because they're in man defense no it if your opponent's doing that, then you just hit them corner route. Slug will see him. If they, if they man up the wrong people, then that guy's going to be wide. I'm just saying, against a good player, this isn't going to work. Okay, it's not going to work. Uh, but it's still a good defense. If you want to use it against the homies, maybe some average players are online, it'll probably do good for you. So let's talk about it. We're going to baseline, piss the D-line, slide him outside. We're going to put the guy that I'm on in the middle blue, like we always do, okay? Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our A guy, which is hand, put him on a QB spy, and then we're going to take this guy, and then we're going to put him on a hook curl L, just like that, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to man myself up to any receiver, B, Y, or X. I'm going to just say B, like this. So this is our play right here, and then we stand in the middle, now, shade underneath, over the top, whatever you want to do with your clouds. You want to play hard. It doesn't matter. That's on you. But you're going to notice it with just a two-man rush that you're still going to get uh, that effect. And look how many people I have in coverage. It's insane. Okay? It's insane. Uh, like I said, you can use this online. If you already good with the defense and you're like, oh, man, Big Nickel's all I use, then, hey, 
If you've figured out Big Nickel to a point where you can consistently use it, more power to you. But me, personally, I guess I see the power of 3-4, my pinch dog. I see the power of my other defenses and how fast they react and how effective they are. Uh, my pinch dog is faster than this four-man blitz. I'd rather send five at you and know that the pressure's coming rather than hoping and praying you don't use play action or slide protect and things like that. You know what I mean? Because it's very hard to uh, stop pinch dog. So baseline, pinch, slant outside. We're going to put this guy in a blue, okay, just like that. We're going to put this guy right here in a spy and this guy in a hook curl L, just like that. And then I'm going to take myself, my, my user, and then my, man myself up to anybody. You can man yourself up to the running back if your opponent's running screens and stuff or whatever you want to do. Stand over the middle right here and hold the right triggers from what I understand. I don't think you really need to hold the right trigger, to be honest with you guys. I don't think you need to do it. Uh, but for the most part, you're going to have a lot of coverage on the field as you get those animations on the left and right side. Now, how would you stop that setup? It's hard for me to do it by myself, okay? It's hard for me to do it by myself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave it on a pass rush. I'm gonna try just to leave my guy here uh, like this for this defense. But what you wanna do is I want you to, if you're playing against this defense, I want you to scheme out of Trey White Flex and I want you to screen, uh, scheme out of crossers, okay? Crossers ran the right way will shred this defense. Now, different ways that you can run crossers, uh, I can't really, I don't want to go too much in depth, but you can create a flood concept like this uh, and then leave the play action the way it is so they don't get those animations and then you can just dot this guy up all day long. Now, what we're doing with PA crossers against this, okay, I'm teaching you guys how to, how to uh, counter this and how I would do it to you guys online if you read this on me, is I'll switch to a play action because the blocking changes, it gets more powerful in play action. Now, the chess becomes, the chess match becomes, if I run play action and then you're facing someone like me, like say I'm cheesing it with big nickel, right? And then you play action, then I see you starting to play action because you're scared of the big nickel. I'm gonna come out pinch dog and then QB contain my blitz so your play action no longer works. So remember, if you start switching into play action and then you notice, man, these guys are coming off the edge really fast, you're getting QB contained on a play action, okay? So we're gonna set that defense uh, up the, uh, the way it is, the way, I'm gonna show you guys the way we was doing it. Like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna man my guy up, but I'm gonna leave him right here in the middle. And then we're gonna switch to the play action, which is crossers. Create yourself a little flood concept where you have a left and right read. Uh, you see the A route stretches the defense backwards. You can actually, for more better effect, you can move Watson out and create a stretch to the, to the cloud flat. Uh, you can bring him back. I'm just showing you guys different routes that you can use to counter this defense. Leave the play action in place. You can even run a play action play and then cancel the play action and you still get the proper blocking. So I can actually block my running back, cancel the play action, and it'll still stop this defense. Another thing you can do is as I can take A, drag him like I would normally do. I can streak Y and then bring him over like this. Now, uh, my opponent saw me run the drag with Y on the previous play. Now I'm going to run the drag with A. If they start playing hard flats, what I can do is I can streak A, slant Y, and then uh, drag X. So I'm scheming out of PA crossers to counter everything you're doing with your defense while you're stuck in big nickel trying to get that stupid blitz to come in. And I'm pass blocking my running back. So your, your whole defense is already useless. And all I would do is snap the ball, obviously, right? And all I need to do with everybody blocking is just find the proper reads. You know what I mean? That right there was a little stupid read, but I was gonna, ha I would have had like the drag on the left side. There was nobody there. So remember, PA crossers. I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the defense. It's like that. Uh, you'll see that I'm setting it up. I'm gonna hold the right trigger. PA crossers, play action. You'll see that you don't get those animations. You know what I'm saying? Now my man has all the time he needs rolling out. Could have taken off with my quarterback to the right if they don't have a QB spy. Now, if you don't run that, right? If you don't run play action or PA crossers, if you can't scheme, find another play action to scheme out of. As long as you just come out in a play action, you'll be all right. Now, the thing you'll see right there, I didn't use, I, I didn't use play action. I just ran levels out with a block running back. It didn't matter. So remember, to set up the defense right, you can base a line pinch like this put this guy in a blue uh i'm showing you guys both ways to run this joint 
the most effective way where you're going to have so many people on the field, bro. It's just pathetic. You got a QB spy. So if the pass rush doesn't get there or the guy tries to run, you have a QB spider there to stop him. Uh, I'm going to man myself up to somebody, whoever I want running back. It doesn't matter. You're the user. You get to do what you want anyway. And I'm just going to be running around like this. Like, like there's nobody open, bro. You know what I mean? So to counter it, play action. So if I set it up, like I said, I like set this up. Uh, I'm going to man myself up to Y. Okay. Uh, let's see. Take this guy. QB spy him. Hook curl L. So the way I, I have it set up is going to be very hard to pass against, even with the play action. I'm giving you guys this setup, so it's hard for them. So pretty much what we're saying is if they do find a way to counter it uh, uh, with the play action, you still have so much coverage on the field, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like there's so much coverage. You have a QB spy, so he can't take off on you. You know what I'm saying? So and then you have these guys just hoping and praying that he doesn't play action you. So if I switch to a play action, right, I cancel the play action. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a put him on a streak. Okay. Now this controller has controller drift, so, it, so it's hard. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll interrupt the X guy and then smart rod him. So this would be uh, uh, one of the other plays that I would run against you guys doing that to me. Just just giving me the work. And then I have B over here. You know what I'm saying? For a TD. So different things that you can do as long as it's play action. So if you're facing this defense, any play with play action, you can cancel the play action. You'll still have the proper blocking. It'll shut the defense down. But if they start hitting you with the adjustments that I'm showing you, and what I mean by that is if I do this, okay, and then and I bring this guy, if I just put a guy on a blue, right, and then I come over here, I don't know why my guy's trying to go back, bro. I don't know why he's trying to go back. Okay. Uh, and we see what he's doing. I'm going to cancel play action, okay, and then I'll drag A like this. And then I'll run it like this to, just to test to see what you're doing. And I'll have people. Now, with my adjustments with the big nickel over G, okay, I'm sorry this video is long, man, but I got to go in depth for you guys that, that want to run it and those that want to counter it. I'm giving you both angles, okay? Uh, there is another way where you slide protect left, ID the mic right. Don't do that. Don't do that because it's not going to work most of the time. Just run a play action play, scheme out of that play action like I did crossers right there. So many different routes you can run to, you know what I'm saying? A slow go seems to work because it's kind of like a play action. Uh, so what we're, what we're doing here is with my setup and the big nickel over G, it's going to make it very hard for your opponent to make a read. Very hard for him to make a read, a proper read, okay? Uh, so if I, even if I switch the crossers, right? Uh, and we snapped the ball. That guy actually, look at they pancaked me, bro, because of that. Uh, because of the play action. But you're going to notice that not a lot of people are open on the field. You know what I'm saying? And eventually those ends will get to the quarterback. Now, another defensive play that you can use with big nickel, if they're not running play action, you're able to just smack them around, is you can run cover two man. I'm going to show you guys just how insane this is right here. You can blend any defense in the playbook. So anything in big nickel, you can run with the three step adjustments okay uh and i'm going to show you guys real quick the levels out in man defense okay what we're going to do is we're not going to baseline okay we're not going to baseline what we're going to do is we're going to man up quinn on the running back okay we're going to man him up just like that pinch slant outside just like that uh and then i'm gonna put myself uh, on whatever i want i guess i could put myself on a zone like this uh you could do whatever you want with this guy you know what i'm saying you can keep him you can put him on a one of these, you know what I'm saying? Uh, whatever adjustments they allow you to do, you know what I'm saying? So a mid read right there, uh, bring him down. So he goes into a mid read and, and this is going to be another, you're going to put this guy right here on a hook and this guy on a hook. So our play right here on defense is going to look like this. You see the little triangle that we have going on now corner routes and stuff will smoke you right for the most part. But if your opponent has no idea what you're doing, right i want you to see this coverage right here oh my god this is just embarrassing bro it's horrible it's horrible it's bad okay it's bad but remember as long as they're expecting the pass okay use these two guys for whatever you want if you're gonna run it that way if your opponent's starting to run a lot of play action just if you're not a big nickel schemer then get out of the defense and go back to what you know all right uh and then maybe touch on this back and forth 
Now, it wasn't very successful for me in the game in the previous video, but it may be for you guys. Like I said, if someone runs this on me, I'm gonna I'm gonna torch you because I know how bad the defense is uh, without the glitch. So uh, remember, you could do this. Anything you want to do with these guys, uh, you can. So you can actually do this and then put this guy and then do this. You know what I'm saying? You can hook curl one side and then put the guy on the other side. As long as you man up this guy to RB because you're taking yourself off the user. Okay. You're taking yourself off the user. You can actually leave this guy right here in the middle on the middle blue to actually help you a little bit more. Put him on a middle blue. So instead of him going outwards on his blue, you can have him going straight up uh, to the back of the field. Uh, put yourself on a QB spy just like this, right? And then they run the play and you get all the coverage on the field, which is so many people. And then you get that pass rush with a QB spy. So if he tries to dodge it and tries to take off running, you have the, well, actually I'm lying in the, in the man defense, you can either QB spy him or not. I'd rather you QB spy him. You know what I mean? Maybe put this guy on a, on a, on a read mid read and then put uh this guy on this zone you know what i'm saying and then qb spy this guy and i just messed that up because you have to pinch and slant outside first so put this guy like this this guy on a qb spy and then you have that blue over there man up the running back like this practice this stuff bro because what, what i'm showing you guys is, is like i already know what i'm doing okay as long as i'm covering a lot a lot of the field i'm cool because i already know that the edge rushers would get there in time while there's nothing for him to throw in the field except for that little in route the little in route could have been open that's a little window uh but i would cover that if he hit me with that one time he won't be able to do it again so remember to counter the defense as i just set it up basic look i'm gonna let go of the controller and i want to see uh without pressing right trigger if he still comes in uh yeah he does yeah he does so you don't really need to hold right trigger so remember to get rid of that glitch that's in the game. You wanna to switch to play action. So I got PA crossers I can I can use. Uh, let's go back into audibles, tray open. We got PA read that I can use. Uh, it's all play action that I can scheme on you. You know what I'm saying? I can scheme this on you guys, uh, running drags and stuff like that, out routes, depending on the defense that you're using on me, uh, what I'm seeing. We got stack Y flex, we got PA read here, which you can create an awesome uh, uh flood concept by streaking i'm in the saints playbook on offense by the way so you guys uh know and what we'll do is we'll just uh we'll slant a and then we'll drag x you know what i'm saying like this and then we can keep the play action there and then we got y we have x against the man defense obviously you know what i'm saying those routes get open so just blend it in if you're going to use big nickel. I'm trying to give you guys both sides. You know what I mean? I'm trying to say, oh, this is the best defense. It is a glitch defense, but it's not the best defense if you know how to stop it. Uh, play action. Just scheme out of play action, man. Just find your best plays of play action and let it start rocking and rolling. Now, remember the tip that I told you guys. If they start, if they start uh, hitting you with blitzes because you're play actioning or you're not canceling it, uh, then start uh using different plays start run plays use your run plays against qb contains uh inside zones don't use o1 traps i'm trying to give you guys as much knowledge as i can uh before we get too far in this video we're almost at 20 minutes so remember what i'm telling you guys all right you're going to use the defense look at your opponent if he's starting to run a lot of play action or he's blocking and you're you're not getting those block sheds he knows what you're doing and he's countering it so switch your defense up if you know if you have a better defense like me it's three four odd uh, 335 odd and dollar that's what I'm gonna be using all the time if you're run heavy and all you want to do is run uh, I'll go to 4-3 if I need to if you're throwing a lot of tosses I'm gonna run cover six I'm gonna use wide nine defense I'm gonna use nickel 335 wide on you Sam will blitz for the outside runs um, just like I said I'm just trying to, to help you guys right now counter it and run it at the same time until they pass it because this this defense is going to get a patch you see me just a two-man rush and it's coming in with the with the shed so it's going to get fixed just know that make sure you drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and i love you